Mr. Prime Minister, it is my honor to welcome you to the White House and to Washington, D.C. It is my understanding that this is your first trip outside of South Asia for at least the last 16 months. And on behalf of the President and myself, we are honored to welcome you for this visit. Uh, mm -hmm. India, of course, is a very important partner to the United States. Throughout our history, our nations have worked together, have stood together to make our world a safer and stronger world. Mr. Prime Minister, when you and I last spoke in June, we talked about how our world is more interconnected and interdependent than ever before. And the challenges that we face today have highlighted that fact, be it COVID-19, the climate crisis, and the importance of our shared belief in a free and open Indo-Pacific region. On COVID-19, our nations have worked together. Early in the pandemic, India was a vital source of vaccines for other countries. When India experienced a surge of COVID in the country, the United States was very proud to support India in its need and, and responsibility to vaccinate its people. And I welcome India's announcement that it will soon be able to resume vaccine exports. Um, it is of particular note and admiration that India, I'm told, is currently vaccinating approximately 10 million people a day as of today. माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी आपका वाशिंगटन डीसी में स्वागत करना मेरे लिए बहुत बड़े गर्व की बात है भारत और यूएस के लिए एक महत्वपूर्ण राजनीतिक और रणनीतिक साथी रहा है इतिहास गवाह है कि जब भी हम दोनों देश एक दूसरे के साथ खड़े हुए हैं हमारे विश्व में अपने आप को अधिक सुरक्षित मजबूत और समृद्ध समझा है माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी जब जून में मेरी आपसे बातचीत हुई थी तब हमने इस बारे में बात की थी कि हमारा विश्व पहले से कहीं अधिक एक दूसरे पर आश्रित और परस्पर हुआ है परस्पर रूप से जुड़ा है हम आज बात करेंगे कि किस तरह से कोविड 19 और जलवायु संकट व भारत को एक स्वतंत्र प्रशांत की आवश्यकता है हमारे सामूहिक कार्यों में हमने देखना है कि कोविड 19 के लिए हम किस तरह से संपूर्ण रूप से मिलजुल कर बात कर सकेंगे जब ये महामारी शुरू हुई थी कोविड उस समय पर भारत वैक्सीन का टीकाकरण के लिए लोगों को दूसरे देशों को दवा देने के लिए एक बहुत महत्वपूर्ण स्रोत था और जैसा जैसे भारत ने खुद इस बीमारी को इस महामारी की बढ़ोतरी हुई है उसके साथ-साथ उन्होंने फिर भी आ, मदद की और अमेरिका ने उस समय पर बढ़कर भारत की काफी मदद की मैं इस समय पर स्वागत करती हूं आपकी इस घोषणा का कि आप जल्द ही टीकाकरण के निर्यात की फिर से शुरुआत करने वाले हैं और मैं समझती हूं कि ये जो आप 10 मिलियन लोग हर रोज आपके देश में टीकाकरण प्राप्त कर रहे हैं ये एक बहुत ही प्रभावशाली कदम है ऑन द इशू ऑफ द क्लाइमेट क्राइसिस आई नो दैट इंडिया एंड यू टेक दिस इशू क्वाइट सीरियसली uh, the President and I believe very strongly that the United States working together with India can have not only a profound impact on the people of our respective nations, but on the world itself. Mr. Prime Minister, we all know about the climate crisis. You take it very seriously. And for this, the United States and America will have a very strong impact on the world. I will tell you more about this. 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 And as it relates to the Indo-Pacific, the United States, like India, feels very strongly um, about the pride of being a member of the Indo-Pacific, but also the fragility and the importance and strength as well of those relationships, including maintaining a free and open Indo-Pacific. And where the Prashant is about, America is a member of America, and we feel that 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 we Finally, as democracies around the world are under threat, it is imperative that we de defend democratic principles and institutions within our respective countries and around the world, and that we maintain what we must do to strengthen democracies at home, and it is incumbent on our nations to, of course, protect democracies in the best interest of the people of our countries. और क्योंकि इस समय विश्व भर में गणतंत्र खतरे में है खतरे का सामना कर रहा है हमारे देशों के लिए अति आवश्यक हो जाता है कि चाहे कितनी भी चुनौतियां हमारे सामने क्यों ना आएं हम यह साबित करें कि लोकतंत्र उनकी आवश्यकताएं पूरी कर सकता है और लोकतंत्र को हमें और अधिक सुदृढ़ बनाना है एंड मिस्टर प्राइम मिनिस्टर आई लुक फॉरवर्ड टू डिस्कसिंग हाउ आवर नेशंस कैन कंटिन्यू टू बेस्ट वर्क टुगेदर टू स्ट्रेंथन आवर रिलेशनशिप अराउंड आवर म्यूचुअल कंसर्न्स अराउंड द चैलेंजेस वी फेस बट द अपॉर्चुनिटीज that those challenges also present, I know from personal experience and from my family, of the commitment of the Indian people <laughs> to democracy and to freedom and to the work that may be done and can be done 
to imagine and then actually achieve our vision for democratic principles and institutions. Thank you. Manan Pradhan Mantri Ji, I would like to talk about this about how we can in our country एक में एक साथ हम इन चुनौतियों का सामना कर सकते हैं हम दोनों देश मिलकर के और किस तरह से इस युग को हम इन अवसरों का लाभ उठा सकते हैं मैं जानती हूं कि आप भारत के लोग इस बारे में दृढ़ संकल्प भी हैं और इसमें हमारे जो उद्देश्य की भावना है वो बहुत गहरी है इस गहराई तक जाने के लिए और इसे प्राप्त करने के लिए मुझे गर्व है एक्सेंसी सबसे पहले तो मेरा और मेरे डेलीगेशन का बहुत ही गर्मजोशी से स्वागत करने के लिए मैं आपका हृदय से बहुत-बहुत आभारी हूं कुछ महीने पहले आपके साथ टेलीफोन पर विस्तार से बात करने का मुझे मौका मिला था और बहुत ही आत्मीयता पूर्ण और बहुत ही स्वाभाविक तरीके से आपसे जो संवाद करने का मुझे अवसर मिला वो मुझे हमेशा याद रहेगा और मैं इसके लिए बहुत आपका आभारी हूँ और वो समय था जब भारत कोविड की दूसरी लहर से बहुत ही पीड़ित था बड़ा संकट था कि उस समय जिस प्रकार से आत्मीयता से आपने भारत की चिंता की जो शब्द व्यक्त किए और जो सहायता के लिए हाथ बढ़ाया इसके लिए मैं फिर एक बार हृदय से आपका आभार व्यक्त करता हूँ एक्सलेंसी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई लाइक टू express my gratitude for the warm welcome that you have extended to me and to my delegation. Excellency, some months ago we had an opportunity to talk to each other on the phone. We had a detailed discussion at that time. And uh, the way uh, you spoke to me so warmly and so naturally, I will always remember that. Thank you so much. It was, uh, Excellency, if you remember, a very difficult time. Mm -hmm. India was confronted with the second wave of the COVID-19 uh, pandemic, a very difficult time for us. But uh, slow, so uh, like a family, uh, the sense of kinship and so warmly, you uh, extended a helping hand. The words that you chose when you spoke to me, I will always remember that, and I'd like to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Apne ek sachche mitra ki tarah, bahut hi sangvadna bhara aur sahiyog ka sandesh diya tha. Us samay, America ki sarkar, companies. और इंडियन कम्युनिटी सभी मिलकर के भारत की सहायता के लिए एकजुट हो गए थे लाइक अ ट्रू ट्रू फ्रेंड एक्सलेंसी यू हैड गिवन अ मैसेज ऑफ कोऑपरेशन एंड अ वेरी फुल ऑफ सेंसिटिविटी एंड इमीडिएटली आफ्टर दैट वी फाउंड दैट द यूएस गवर्नमेंट द यूएस कॉर्पोरेट सेक्टर एंड द इंडियन कम्युनिटी all came together uh, to help uh, India. Excellency, Rastrati Biden or Aapne Atyant Chunoti Puna Mahol Me America Ka Netru Toh Sambhala or a bhoot hi kam samay mein kai upladdiya hasil ki hai. Covid ho, climate ho, ya phir quad सभी पर अमेरिका ने बहुत ही महत्वपूर्ण इनिशिएटिव लिए हैं एक्सलेंसी प्रेसिडेंट बाइडेन एंड योर सेल्फ यू टुक अप द लीडरशिप ऑफ द यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स इन इन वेरी चैलेंजिंग एटमोस्फेयर एंड चैलेंजिंग टाइम्स बट विद इन अ वेरी शॉर्ट पीरियड ऑफ टाइम यू हैव हैड मेनी अचीवमेंट्स टू योर क्रेडिट whether that be a COVID, climate, or the Quad, on all these issues, the United States has taken very important initiatives. Vishwaki sabse badi aur sabse purani democracies ke roop mein Bharat aur America natural partner hai. Hamare mulyo mein samanta hai. Hamare geopolitical heat mein samanta hai. Aur हमारा तालमेल और सहयोग भी निरंतर बढ़ता जा रहा है। एक्सेलेंसी, अमंग्स द लार्जेस्ट डेमोक्रेसी एंड द ओल्डेस्ट डेमोक्रेसी बिटवीन द इंडिया एंड द यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स, वी आर इंडीड नेचुरल पार्टनर्स। वी हैव सिमिलर वैल्यूज, आर सिमिलर जियोपॉलिटिकल इंटरेस्ट्स, 
and also our coordination and cooperation is continuously increasing. Supply chain ki majbuti, navintam technology, aur antriksh jaise kshetro mein aapki vishesh ruchi hai. Yeh kshetra mere liye bhi vishesh priority ke hai. In kshetro mein हमारे बीच सहयोग बहुत ही महत्वपूर्ण है। To strengthen the supply chains, Excellency, and as far as the new and emergent technologies are concerned, and space, these are areas of special interest for you. These are areas which are of interest to me too, and of special priority. And these and these are areas where our cooperation is very important. आप भारत और अमेरिका के मजबूत और वाइब्रेंट पीपल टू पीपल टाइप से तो भली भांति परिचित है ही है चार मिलियन से भी ज्यादा भारतीय प्रवासी हमारे देशों के बीच मित्रता के सेतु हैं अमेरिका और भारत के अर्थव्यवस्थाओं और सोसाइटीज में इनका योगदान बहुत ही प्रशंसनीय है Um, Excellency, uh, between uh, India and uh, the U.S., uh, the uh, very vibrant and strong people-to-people uh, -people, uh, connections uh, that we have, you know that all too well. More than four million people of Indian origin, the Indian community, is uh, a bridge between our two countries, a bridge of friendship, and their contribution to the economies and societies of both our countries is indeed very praiseworthy. Excellency, आपका उपराष्ट्रपति के नाते चुने जाना अपने आप में एक बहुत ही महत्वपूर्ण घटना है ऐतिहासिक घटना है और आप पूरे विश्व के में बहुत से लोगों के लिए प्रेरणा स्रोत है मुझे पूरा विश्वास है कि राष्ट्रपति बाइडेन और आपके नेतृत्व में हमारे संबंध नई ऊंचाई हासिल करेंगे Um, Excellency, your being uh, elected as the Vice President of the United States of America itself has been such an important and historic event. You are uh, the source of uh, inspiration for so many people across the world. I am completely confident that under President Biden and your leadership, our bilateral relationship will touch new heights. Excellency, your Vijay Yatra is important. कि भारत में आपकी इस ऐतिहासिक विजय यात्रा को सम्मानित करें, आपका स्वागत करें, इसलिए मैं आपको विशेष रूप से भारत आने का निमंत्रण देता हूँ। Excellency, continuing on your this journey of victory, Indians also would want you to continue that in India, and therefore they're waiting to welcome you, and therefore I extend to you specially an invitation to visit India. फिर एक बार इस वाम स्वागत के लिए मैं आपका हृदय से बहुत-बहुत आभार व्यक्त करता हूँ। Once again, Excellency, let me thank you and express my gratitude for this very warm welcome. Thank you, Mr. Prime Minister, and welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States, accompanied by His Excellency, the Prime Minister of the Republic of India. Ladies and gentlemen, the National Anthem of the Republic of India, followed by the National Anthem of the United States of America.
Prime Minister Singh, Mrs. Gursharan Kaur, members of the Indian delegation, on behalf of Michelle and myself, it is a great pleasure to welcome you to the White House. On behalf of the American people, it is my great honor you to welcome you to the United States. Mr. Prime Minister, yours is the first official state visit of my presidency, and it is fitting that you and India be so recognized. This visit reflects the high esteem in which I and the American people hold your wise leadership. It reflects the abiding bonds of respect and friendship between our people, including our friends in the Indian American community who join us here today. But above all, your visit at this pivotal moment in history speaks to the opportunity before us to build the relationship between our nations, born in the last century, into one of the defining partnerships of the 21st century. For while our two nations have taken different paths to reach this moment, ours is a common story. It's the story of two proud people who struggled to break free from an empire and declare their independence. Two bold experiments with, de uh, with, in democracy, with constitutions that begin with the same simple words, we the people. Two great republics dedicated to the ideals of liberty, justice, equality, and the never-ending work of perfecting their union. It's the story of two economic marvels fueled by an ethic of hard work and innovation. And today, our nations are two global leaders, driven not to dominate other nations, but to build a future of security and prosperity for all nations. Mr. Prime Minister, as we work to build that future, India is indispensable. As leading economies, the United States and India can strengthen the global economic recovery, promote trade that creates jobs for both our people, and pursue growth that is balanced and sustained. As nuclear powers, we can be full partners in preventing the spread of the world's most deadly weapons, securing loose nuclear materials from terrorists, and pursuing our shared vision of a world without nuclear weapons. As people who have known the pain and anguish of terrorism, we can stand together, cooperating to prevent future attacks and promote the development and prosperity that undermines violent extremism. As India becomes an increasingly influential global power, we can partner to meet other transnational challenges, developing clean energy partnerships, confronting climate change, stopping infectious disease, reducing hunger, and working to end extreme poverty in our time. And as the world's largest democracies, we can keep faith with our common values, speaking out and standing up for the rights and dignity to which all human beings are entitled, and showing that nations that respect the rights and aspirations of their people are ultimately more stable, more secure, and more successful. This is the India that America welcomes today, a leader in Asia and around the world. And these are the challenges we are summoned to meet in partnership. This is the progress that is possible today and in the days and years ahead. And Mr. Prime Minister, as we build our common future, we can draw strength from our shared past. For it was exactly 60 years ago, in a ceremony not unlike this, that an American president welcomed to the White House the first Prime Minister of an independent India. And while the decades that followed were not without their challenges, the spirit of that first visit is with us today. The same sense of possibility, the same hope for the future. So as President Truman said of President Nehru, it is my privilege to welcome the respected leader of a great nation of free people. And as Prime Minister Nehru said of the work before them, may our two great nations find many ways of working together in friendly and fruitful cooperation to our mutual advantage and for the good of humanity. Mr. Prime Minister, Mrs. Carr, in that spirit, I welcome you to the United States of America. Mr. President, First Lady, Mrs. Obama, thank you very much for your warm words 
of welcome, Mr. President. My wife and I are deeply honored to be in your great country on the first state visit of your presidency. <laughs> Mr. President, I bring to you and the people of the United States of America the friendly greetings of over one billion people of India. <laughs> India and America are separated by distance, but bound together by the values of democracy, pluralism, rule of law, and respect for fundamental human freedoms. Over the years, we have built upon these values and created a partnership that is based upon both principle and pragmatism. Our relations have been transformed, and today they encompass cooperation in all areas of human activity. Mr. President, I've come today to build upon these successes and to strengthen our multi-faceted relationship. We seek to broaden and deepen our strategic partnership and to work with the United States to meet the challenges of a fast-changing world in this 21st century. <laughs> this is the moment of great opportunity in our relationship. India and the United States can and must work together to harness the immense potential of our talented and enterprising people and support each other's growth and prosperity. We should cooperate in addressing global challenges of combating terrorism, making our environment cleaner, and moving towards a world free of nuclear weapons. Mr. President, <laughs> Mr. President, we deeply appreciate your strong personal commitment to our bilateral relationship. My wife and I are deeply grateful to you and the First Lady for receiving us during this Thanksgiving week. With these words, I once again thank you, Mr. President. God bless America. God bless India.